Alright guys, so today I'm going to be showing you guys how to use PK Hacks. This is a, a guide intended for Nuzlocke, so there's plenty of utilities that I won't cover. But to start off, to open your save file, you either hit Control o on Windows, Command-O on Mac, or you go to File, and there's a little drop-down menu you can't see. There's a thing that says Open here that you click on, right? And then you want to go to whatever folder that has your... Uh, your ROM. So here, yeah. So uh, in Game Boy here, this is where I have like my Emerald Kaizo ROM, right? And that's where the save file is. If you're using VBA RR, this can usually be found in the battery folder. So now you open up your save file, right? This is my current team from uh, my most recent stream that I ended with. So what I'm going to do is. Say I um, want to edit uh, Goldeen ZXP, I can drag it in, or I can hit right click and hit view, and then you can go to this. You can look at your, you can check your stats here. You can look at your Met page attacks OT miscellaneous, and then the main page. This is usually what I do when I'm edging. I rare candy something up to like 17 for Roxanne say, and then I, like, I subtract one from this EXP thing here. So you can change your XP to 55, 0, whatever. Additionally, um, you can go over here. This little thing up here that says save. And then there's an option that says items. There's going to be a pop-up screen with like a bag. So like you can type in whatever items you need in each tab. And then hit the save button right down here. Uh, you guys can't see it because I'm only uh, capturing the PK hex. But that's okay. And then um, once you're done making changes, you can go to File, Export, there's a thing that says Export Save, S-A-V. And then there's another arrow, and you hit Export Main if you want to save over, or if you want to just have it as a backup file somewhere else, you can export it as a backup. And now, if you want to export it, uh, whatever's in your save file to the damage count, for example, you can go to this. There's a little star here, and this is Showdown. And then you scroll down to... And then you hit the arrow, you go to the right, there's a little thing right here that says export party to clipboard. There's also something called current box if you're taking on like magma hideout and want like your entire box in there for calcs. I'm going to do export party for the purposes of this. So now you can close out a PK hex um, after you've backed up everything and exported. And then let's go to the damage calc, right? So uh, this is what the damage calc looks like. At the top of the screen, you can see like your calc, your calcs and such. And then right down here where it says import export, you want to paste in here and then you'll get like your team that you copied your clipboard. And you, there's a couple things you want to be wary of here. Because of EXP curves being changed in Emerald Kaizo, um, oh, by the way, the link to this calc will be in the description, but as well as the link to download PK Hex if you need it. Um, right here, you can see uh, Trico's level is 13, but uh, it's actually 10 in the game. You have to keep it, you, have to, you probably want to pull up uh, your game to see uh, what everything's levels are and then like edit it uh, accordingly. I want to do the same for Goldeen here. This is especially important before major battles like gym battles, for example. I don't think we have any examples of moves being uh, changed right now. But, um, for example, if you have something with, like, Spark in here, that means it has Wild Charge. If it has Fissure, that means it has Earth Power. If it has Sludge, that means it has Sludge Bomb. If it has Sludge Bomb, that means it has Gunk Shot, etc., etc. Uh, there's a change log in the dis- in my Discord server, under the Resources channel, as well as pinned to Pokemon Challenges Discord. So you can hit the import button once you're finished making sure everything is exactly as it should be. Then if you're only importing like a party, you want to hit this sh only show imported sets button. So you can just scroll down, like pick what you want to do, then type in like what you want to do. Like let's say we're calculating against Roxanne's nose pass. You just type in nose pass. Now, now, otherwise, if you're doing like a whole box, it's actually quicker to not do that. Just type in what you need. So like for Slugma, right? It says custom set because I don't have a nickname. If you have a nickname, the nickname will show up there. And um, 
Another thing to keep in mind when doing damage calcs is this is this section right here. You can add pretty much any field effect that is necessary. So like if you've laid spikes up and you want to see like if I can KO this thing after spikes, you can add one, two, three, etc. You want you can factor in light screen and reflect if you or your opponent sets them. The protect thing is kind of useless because obviously it's gonna do zero. Leech seed if like you're leech seeding something and you want to know if you KO after leech seed chip. Um, you've got helping hand boost, and then these are the ones that a lot of people forget. So these are your badge boosts. So if you've beaten Roxanne, you you check this attack boost button. Same with speed, defense, and special, referring to Watson, Norman, and Tate and Liza respectively. Anyways, that should be pretty much everything you guys need to know about both PK Hex and the damage calculator. Hope you guys enjoyed, and have a nice day.